Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up BitLocker Drive Encryption on your Windows 11 computer. So BitLocker adds an additional layer of security to store sensitive files on your computer and puts them behind a metaphorical lock that is called encryption, which makes the, the information unreadable without the proper authorization information. So if you don't have the code in order to open up the locked drive, you won't be able to access it, or you can access it, but it won't make any sense to any person because it'll be a bunch of random characters. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All you have to do is start by opening up the search icon, and you want to type in group policy. Best match to come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. I'm going to make this full screen here and I'm going to go and make this column a little wider here too. And then I'm going to expand the ministry of templates underneath computer configuration. So double click on it. And there should be a windows components folder. Go ahead and double click on that one as well. So now that we're on this page here, you want to go and locate BitLocker drive encryption. Go ahead and double click on it. And then there should be an operating system drives folder. Go ahead and left click on that one time. On the right side, locate something that says require additional authentication at startup. Go ahead and double click on that. So you can see that this policy setting allows you to configure whether BitLocker requires additional authentication each time the computer starts and whether you're using BitLocker with or without a trusted platform module, TPM. This policy setting is applied when you turn on BitLocker. Note only one of the additional authentication options can be required at startup, otherwise a policy error occurs. If you want to use BitLocker on a computer without a TPM, select the Allow BitLocker Without a Compatible TPM checkbox. And there's a whole bunch of text here, you're welcome to read all of it. We're going to just kind of gloss over it, and we're just going to set it to Enabled up here at the top. Keep all the settings default on the left side here, again, unless you want to change it to something else, which you're welcome to. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and select Apply and OK. Close out of here. And now you want to open up File Explorer. So if you want to select the File Explorer icon down in your system taskbar, or you can search for it, whichever you prefer. And then on the left side, select this PC. On the right side, right click on your local drive. And you want to select where it says Turn on BitLocker. So go ahead and left click on that. So if you'd rather use a password or USB flash drive here, you're welcome to do either or. We're going to go ahead and select enter a password. And then you're going to go ahead and enter in a password to unlock the BitLocked drive. So you should create a strong password that uses uppercase and lowercase numbers, symbols, and spaces. At this point, go ahead and enter in a password here. So it could be anything. There may be limitations though, but I'm going to go ahead and just type it in. So yeah, you can see it has to be stronger. So it does have complexity requirements. So let me go ahead and add something here. Select next. So got to add some more letters here or different numbers, I guess. And then select next. And now you can save it to a variety of places here. This is really important. You definitely do not want to lose this key. So you may want to back it up to a file that you can save to your desktop. Save it to a USB flash drive. You can also print the recovery key. And you can also save it to your Microsoft account. Probably want to hurt to do more than just one of these methods because it's very important. You do not want to lose this passcode or recovery key. It is so critical not to lose it. I have so many tutorials, guys, where I make videos that I explicitly say that you do not want to lose this password. And I don't know why, I guess people come back on because they're looking up fixes for different tutorials. And they come on a video about how to set up BitLocker and they say that they lost their key. Or, you know, I create a video about how to, you know, create a hidden folder and I say don't lose your key. And then people comment saying they lost their key. Like, you know what, you didn't hear it from me, all right? <laughs> so remember, back it up, make sure it is saved. Do not come and ask me where to recover it from or how to fix it if you lost your key, go somewhere else. 
So anyway, how do you want to back up your recovery key? Go ahead and select one or more of these options, and Microsoft even suggests doing more than one. And you want to go ahead and select, again, you have to actually select one of them if you want to go ahead and even move on to the next page here. So I'm just going to select one here. Again, doesn't really matter which one. I would recommend doing more than one in your case here, but pretty straightforward here, guys. I just saved it as a PDF on my desktop. I'll actually open it up so you can see what the key will look like if you were to print it out or save it as a PDF. So you're about to see that here. And give it a moment here. So this is going to tell you your identifier key as well as the recovery key. Do not lose this key. Like I'm telling you, like this is my key that I just set up here. But in your case, you are going to want to keep this key somewhere that you're not going to lose it. So very, very important. So anyway, go ahead and just select the next. And now you can encrypt using disk space only, or you can encrypt the entire drive. So encrypt use disk space only is faster and best for new PCs and drivers. Or you can encrypt entire drive, which is slower, but best for PCs and drives already in use. I'm going to go ahead and select the encrypt use disk space only. So it'll be a little bit quicker for our tutorial here. And then I'm going to select the next. And now I'm going to go ahead and select the new encryption mode. You can do a compatibility mode, but I'm going to select new encryption mode. If you're watching this tutorial down the road here, guys, um, there might not be more than one option, in which case you just would go along with whatever option it presented and then select next. And then you also do want to run a BitLocker system check, which will ensure that BitLocker can read the recovery and encryption keys correctly before encrypting the drive. So that's definitely a good precaution here. So make sure you have everything saved, all the backup keys, like I said, and then select continue. Because if you lose the key, you're not going to be able to get back onto your drive. So, I mean, that'd be kind of crazy here. So go ahead and save and close of any open programs and applications and go ahead and restart your computer. And it will take a little longer to restart your computer this time than normal, but just give it a moment. And then at this point, go ahead and insert your password. And again, that's different than your recovery key. So just keep that in mind. There's two different things here. So you've got a password, then you have the key. You definitely don't want to lose the key. That's the last thing you want to lose. So go ahead and hit enter. And that should be about it. And I will make a separate tutorial about how to turn BitLocker off. Again, assuming you have your recovery key and password. If you don't have that, you're not going to be able to do that. So that's just a quick little disclaimer there. So you can go ahead and search my channel for that. I'll have a video for how to turn off BitLocker. But this tutorial just pertains to turning it on which I think we were able to achieve successfully. And you can do this for other drives too. It doesn't just have to be the C drive or Windows. It can be a flash drive or another drive too. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.